The Battle of Alamance, which took place on May 16, 1771, was the final battle of the Regulator Movement, a rebellion in colonial North Carolina over issues of taxation and local control, considered by some to be the opening salvo of the American Revolution. Named for nearby Great Alamance Creek, the battle took place in what was then Orange County and has since become Alamance County in the central Piedmont area, about 9.7 kilometers south of present-day Burlington, North Carolina. In the spring of 1771, Royal Governor William Tryon left New Bern, mustering and marching approximately 1,000 militia troops west to address a rebellion that had been brewing in western counties for several years, but which had included only minor, scattered acts of violence, followed by refusals to pay fees, disruptions of court proceedings, and continued harassment of government officials. About 2,000 so-called regulators had gathered, hoping to gain concessions from the governor by intimidating him with a show of superior force. Funded by council member and wealthy merchant Samuel Cornell for £6,000, on May 11, Tryon left the county seat of Hillsborough with his militia to confront the regulators, who had made camp south of Great Alamance Creek in western Orange County, present-day Alamance County. Some of the regulators petitioned the royal governor to give up seven captured regulators in exchange for two of his men that they had captured the previous day. Tryon agreed, but after a half an hour, the captured officers did not appear. He became suspicious that his positions were being flanked and ordered the militia to march within 30 yards of the regulators. Shortly thereafter, a large crowd of regulators appeared in front of the militia, waving their hats and daring the militia to open fire. At about this time, two men who had been attempting to negotiate a peace between the two sides left Tryon's camp, Reverend David Caldwell and Robert Thompson. Caldwell made it to the field between the two lines, but was warned by the regulators who saw that the governor was about to open fire. Thompson was detained by Tryon as a prisoner. Tryon, in a moment of anger, took a musket from a militiaman and shot Thompson dead. Realizing what he had done, he sent a flag bearer named Donald Malcolm with a white flag in hopes of calming things quickly. The flag bearer was himself fired upon by the regulators, who called out, fire and be damned. The regulators lacked the leadership, organization, and ammunition that Tryon had, but the early course of the battle went well for them. They employed what was referred to as, Indian-style, fighting, hiding behind trees and avoiding structure and lines. This allowed two of the regulators, brothers named McPherson, to capture one of Tryon's three cannons. Unfortunately for them, the regulators had no ammunition and it could not be used. A man considered one of the principal military leaders of the regulators, Captain Montgomery, was killed by a shell at about the same time a bullet hit Tryon's hat. The governor sent a second white flag, but the aide the camp was killed while regulator Patrick Muller called for his fellow insurgents to cease fire. Outraged at the disregard of a second white flag, the governor rallied his troops against the insurgents, whose ammunition was running out. Many of the regulators fled the field. Delays prevented the 300 reinforcements under Captain Benjamin Merrill from arriving in time. Some of the regulators remained behind to continue firing upon the militia. Tryon then ordered the woods to be set on fire. Losses for both sides are disputed. Tryon reported 9 dead and 61 wounded among the militia. Other historians indicate much greater numbers, between 15 and 27 killed. Both sides counted nine dead among the regulators and from dozens to approximately 200 wounded. Tryon took 13 prisoners. One of them, James Few, was executed at the camp and six were executed later in nearby Hillsborough. Many regulators traveled on to frontier areas beyond North Carolina. The royal governor pardoned others and allowed them to stay on the condition that they pledge an oath of allegiance to the royal government. The battle took place in what was then Orange County. During the American Revolution a decade later, the same section of Orange County saw several minor skirmishes, including the infamous Piles hacking match in 1781. Recent archaeological studies at the site have shown that the area now known as Alamance Battleground was also the site of another skirmish in the Revolutionary War and of a Civil War era Confederate encampment. Thank you for watching till the end. Please consider encouraging us by subscribing to our channel. In order to show your support, don't forget to like and share the video.